Hello, I'm Ed Tristan. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist Canada, the Canadian popular state. Uh, we are going to have a war uh, many places, actually. Many, many places. But primarily, to begin with, South America. Uh, we're going to be pushing into Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. And then some more, and then some more, and then, yeah, many places. So we're going to start with Declare War. Uh, declare War. And declare war. They're going to all join the Axis. It's fine. There we go. German Reich, 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 German Reich. Okay, all do your thing. Uh, sure, send me more divisions. No, I won't sign an... Jesus, they don't get it, do they? But are you willing to sign a non-aggression pact? No. But are you willing to sign it? No. No, no, I'm not willing to sign a non-aggression pact. You got this already. All right, you're beginning your uh, charge. Our initial efforts proved somewhat less than fruitful. Okay. Making good time there. Should have their capital. Quito. That is my advice to them. I think they should Quito. Uh, sure. Get more. Is this rubber? Yeah, we're going to need to like find ourselves a rubber supply, which means taking on... Um... Do the Philippines have some rubber? Let's check. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're going to have to take out uh, an area around here. I mean, French Commune is very nice of you to have rubber, but we're going to need more. So being able to lock down this area is going to be probably one of the first things we do in our war. That and nuke the UK. Questioning the motives of Chile. That is very important. You should always question Chile's motives. You know, you don't trust him. Don't, don't trust him. And naval invasion is getting close. Ecuador. The, you own the Galapagos Islands. Okay. I, I would like the Galapagos Islands. That'd be very nice. Soviet send me one. Well, thank you, Soviets. I understand that you've not got many. You've only just got your economy back on track, but... I mean, honestly, they probably need it more than me, but... When one of them is going to turn down free stuff, right? I can use it better than them. They'll just get it killed. And... Ecuador's capitulated. Invasion. Yeah, we're trying to do an amphibious assault with a tank. Doesn't tend to go particularly well. Okay, we've got a justification for Cuba. And let me just check how many, like, bombers we've got. Enough. I would like you to do strategic bombing. Hi, Cuba. Just declaring wars on you straight away. And they join the Axis. Predictably. Poor Cuba. Poor, poor Cuba. Will they ever learn? To be fair, if we based our bombs up here, they'd probably be closer. Ah, it's only a 200. Ah. Uh, to be fair, though, actually, if we base them up here, they're probably closer as well. Because it's not counted as to Cuba, it's counted to the Caribbean Sea. Um... Yeah, you've got capacity. And let's get some fighters up just in case. All right, research slot. Uh, we could probably go logistics for our naval invasions. That would help. Come on, you can do it. Take him down. Bring him down, bring him down.
Yes. That would be the capital. Uh, which I think means everybody, like, delete. Here's your new front line. And feel free to, like, just crush everybody's face. Seems like a good idea to me. Uh, you. I believe you don't actually have any, like, particular orders. So feel free to just, you know, charge. No idea about your navy. Honestly, I should be fighting at some point. I have got search and destroy orders, but whatever. Now, are you planning a naval invasion? No. One of my allies is. That's fine. I don't mind. Minus 75%. Okay, I'm actually worse off there. Nah, screw it. I can't, I can't bother to care anymore. I'd rather we just keep bombing you for some more score. Oh, hello. We lost a destroyer in exchange for five destroyers, three light cruisers, and a submarine. I like it. I approve. Uh, we should also then get our fleet. Right, fleet. 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 God damn fleet. Where? Oh, there you are. Going back to heal. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, they took a lot of healing. Uh, but you know what? I don't care that much. I mean, I know they've got people on board and I could use the population. But I'm going to say no. Never repair. Right. I would like you to split in half. I could have used the split tool. Right. There he goes. And do I have an extra commander? Oh, I can only do that in port. Right, I need you to um, search and destroy here, here, here. And then I need one, two. And that should be our invasion ready. Questioning Portuguese sovereignty is, uh, well, you know, I think it... I make a good point. Yes! Plus, what was that, 3% extra manpower? So good. I've just seen comments from, like, episode, like, 8 episodes ago or something. People being like, oh, I'm not sure it was really worth it. Going down this tree instead. I think it's a bit pointless losing all that, like, uh, you know, built-up doctrine. I'm like, if, if, I don't think so. I need the population. Um... This enables effect of our partisans plus... No, I'm not I'm not going to get this because I don't plan on getting uh, attacked and occupied. No. Also, effect of our partisans plus 10%. Eh. Okay. Uh, we could... We're going to need strategic bombers. Why have I need... To drop nukes, you need strategic bombers. Oh, God, it's going to take me like a year to get them. To be fair, though, uh, I've got a year to clean up the world, so... It's annoying, though. Let's send you over here. Encryption. So it says port. And then uh, probably next encryption. So I've got all the encryptions. Ah! I need... Wow. I need a lot of chromium. Because the chromium that's owned by me, like, that's occupied by me in Turkey, and stuff, like, here is, is occupied, and it's not doing a particularly good job of being uh, processed. You don't get very much from areas that you occupy. Just keep questioning them. Four more destroyers. Cruise capitulated. Excellent. Then just keep pounding on them. They will give up eventually. Mm. 
It's going to move a few of our units over so they have uh, a little bit better coverage. That said, I've got 600 more slots here. Hello. Oh, you're bombing Caribbean. Oh god, I did say Caribbean. My god, Caribbean. 600 slots more, right? There. What's that? Oh, supply shortage. Yeah. yeah. I've got my first nuclear weapon, though. So, you know. That's good. Baby's first nuclear weapon. Do we not have enough knowledge? Really? Mexican coast and eastern Pacific rise. Apparently not. One of our fleets must have gone home. Yeah, I don't want you doing that. Are you even doing your job? I told you to go back out, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, you will do your job when you get there, I think? Okay, uh, ooh. Patagonia, Santiago, excellent. Now I've got points to spend. Where could I spend? War economy. I can't go total mobilization. I don't really want to. It would really hurt my factories. Not that I really care about my factories. Um, I don't really think I want any of this. Ship designer. I mean, I'm not even going to be building ships. I'm just going to keep it for the moment. I'm not going to declare war just yet. I need to get to the front line. Yeah, they really can't do a very good job because of the covering area issue, but... Yeah, they're taking ages to move because they're out of, like, fuel and stuff, and it's very hard, and yeah. Come on. Yes! Alright, they're cut off. Alright, just hit up down here, hit their capital, and then go in. Hit Paraguay. God damn it, allies! This is meant to be mine! Sod off. Alright, can you invade yet? Yes, you can. Lisbon, excellent, right. Portugal. You might be a bit tougher than I planned. In which case, it doesn't matter. I won't be taking the brunt of this war. <laughs> Declare war. Okay. Yeah, they join the axis. Right. How do you feel about this? You feel generally quite good? Do I have a field marshal? I have you. You're not doing anything. Yes, I'd like to assign you. Fear enemy? Sure, do it. Oh yeah, we are quite easily dominating. Screens all across the board. Although they're doing a weird breakout up here, but fine. Just gotta hit the uh Yes, we hit the port. That's all I wanted. Looks like we're gonna hit the port here as well. Yeah, they're defending the capital pretty heavily. We'll get there. Insufficient resources. My god, how much of this do we need? Apparently a lot of chromium. Thiefifrika, you're my next uh, you're my next choice. Come on, you should be giving up soon. Please, to God, give up. When does this justification run out? October. Okay. Yep, they've got no supplies, so they're cut off. Silly AI. 
and that would be the capital. Now we're going to let them think about what they've done. I've got spare factories. I don't know what to do with the spare factories. Um, meanwhile, over here... Yeah, you're not going to be able to punch through that. You, on the other hand... No echelon support. Fire detection plus 20%. Nice. You're supporting. You're supporting. You can't be getting supplies for anywhere, can you? Like, there's no docks. So, yeah, you just got the land. That's fine. Two nukes now. Could have dropped nukes on Portugal, but I want to. I want to save them. They've got to be surprised. Uh, yeah, you've tried to cut off my units there. That's not allowed. Tanks are busting through though, so we should be okay. Although you've just got reinforcements, fine. I'll give you this. This is a surprising long time it's taking to punch through here. I would like to declare war on the other countries down here, but apparently no, that's not allowed. Um, how long do we have? It's 15th of October. Okay, I'm just getting paranoid because I don't want to miss it. You take a national unity hit, a permanent national unity hit if you uh, miss it. Wow, they're really holding on to the point where this is getting creepy. Wait until we beat them back. Ah! Crush the bourgeoisie dictatorship. I think that's Sweden. <laughs> oh dear. They love me. Um... I just keep pushing straight up. Might lose uh, our two motorized here. Yeah, feel free to move. Once you're done with that, come on, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Take four days. Ugh. Oh wow, that is a that's a big valley. Is, even, is it a valley? Like a giant sinkhole. Looks like you keep changing your order almost. It's not. You still got like one day, less than a day, twelve hours. Bam. Please be gone. Oh, there's only another unit? Oh god, take it. First of October. I'm gonna have to go very shortly. It's because trying to travel through the Amazon's really slowed me down. It's a mistake. Don't make me nuke you. I don't want to nuke you. I actually really want to nuke you. Can I nuke you, please? Please don't make me nuke you. Pulse mode encryption. Uh, production line, yeah. Uh, efficiency growth, efficiency retention. I'm not going to be changing that much now, so retention's kind of pointless. Uh, I'm going to just go for growth, I guess. I don't know. Again, that's changing stuff. Uh, I don't really know. It's much for muchness to me. I like that phrase, much for muchness. It's just a nice three. Oh god, yeah, they're starting to really take it out. Yeah, they're retreating. Ninth of October. Got a couple of days to be up to no good. Soon we're going to be making trouble in the neighborhood. I, honestly, we're going to get in one little fight and then we're going to get scared.
How's Portugal going? Yeah, that's that's basically like look at them. No no ability to hold up to this. We we'll have to declare in less than a few hours. I know, really, really accurate right there. Oh god, there we go, that's it. Declare what? Declare what? Oh, just in time. Midnight. And Portugal should give up any second now. Really, Portugal? Really? I really would have thought you'd given up by now. Can you just not... Oh, you're already there. Um, travel over to here. I guess we'll travel out through Porto. I'll leave you to take out the remains of Portugal. I already did, like, most of the work. You should be able to deal with it now. Uh, but I think this is where we leave it. Looks like our motorized division did get killed, which is a shame. Uh, but we now have a war against all of you. Uh, not you. Huh. We need to justify against you, Uruguay. I just won't do. We're also justifying against... Oh, that was it. That's why I don't want you coming back over here. We've got to go justify... Uh, we're justifying against Sweden. We've got to go up to, like, Oslo. That's a big front line to be covering. But I'm sure we'll manage it. All right. I've been Erlissim. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Please consider subscribing. The war continues and uh, fascism is almost obliterated. And yeah, these are totally fascists, right? Totally. They join the Axis. What else could it be? We've got three nukes. <laughs> uh, how Next nuclear bomb is roughly seven days. And okay, so we, we take get a new bomb like every three weeks at the moment. We're going to improve that. And then we're going to just blow everyone up with nukes. That's our intro to high war against the Allies. Nukes. Um, the front here is slower than expected, but we are pushing. I'm surprised you haven't given up already, but sure, we'll keep pushing. Uh, we'll hit these guys, then we'll hit um, Sweden, and I think that's probably it. I mean, uh, Uruguay is pretty much a footnote uh, at this point. Um, Iran is basically gone. Not that that's my war. Afghanistan doesn't matter. Yeah. So this is probably a good point to use as the beginning of our war against the Allies. I'm not really see him. Until next time, stay shiny.